Welcome back, folks. Another episode of The Sports Science Associated with Covering Elite Receivers. I'm your training coach, Tyrone Vance, better known at, at my YouTube page as The DB Professor. Now, I wanted to cover another drill that I do. It's, it's a little bit different um, because you're going to need uh, a receiver, defensive back, and a quarterback for this particular drill. I just thought I'd put it out there because it is a good drill to teach you guys how, you DBs, how to stay with receivers. The receiver will be basically here. There's our receiver. Here's our two cones. They're placed like 10 yards apart, 15 at most, at best. Uh, you can decide that, but I, I suggest like 10 yards, 15, because it's real quick. He's going back and forth real quick, and the quarterback is releasing the ball at some point in time during this during this uh, line drill here that he's running on. So the the receiver basically essentially will be going one way, then turning back into the quarterback and going a different way. It's just like continuously running a pivot route, um, trying to throw the uh, defensive back off. Defensive back. Your responsibility is to stay at his hip. Stay at his hip. If he goes this way, you want to make sure you're in position to make a play. That means your your um, inside arm, your inside arm on that, your, actually your outside arm is going to be finding the point of that football and trying to poke the point of that ball out. Now, the good thing about this drill, it teaches you a few things. It teaches you um, how to use your peripheral vision because you got to see ball coming out. But then you also got to pay, pay attention to waist of foot, or we say waist of foot, waist of foot, because when he changed direction, in order for a receiver to change direction, his foot has to flare out and plant so he can go in the other direction. He could do it two times. He could plant out, go back in a different direction, then stop and go back the other way. But the point is, watch his foot. His foot has to do something. If ball is not coming out, expect a double move. So if you don't see ball coming out, just suspect double move. If ball coming out, great. Just stay on that shoulder, that outside shoulder. Um, find that point of that football and make a play on that ball. Just make a play on that ball. So it's a good little drill. We call it, it's a mirror drill. Uh, M-I-R-R. Um, or it's a mirror drill in actuality. But we just always kind of call it a mirror drill. Mirror drill. Um, and that's what we call it. That's what we name it. But it is a good drill to teach you how to stay with those receivers, stay in their hips. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, they got these mobile quarterbacks now. Uh, they like to run pass option, and um, they'll roll the pocket. And um, sometimes plays will break down, and the receivers, uh, they start scrambling around looking for an open spot. Um, and, and I notice that, too, a lot, pros and um, college. Um uh, a lot of DBs have trouble staying with those receivers. The receivers get lost in the shuffle, and, and it was actually that, that DB's responsibility, but he lost the receiver. You've got to stay with that receiver. He's looking down at the quarterback and not paying attention to the receiver. You always have to know where quarterback is in relation to yourself and in relation to the receiver itself. You have to always know those three things. You lose one or two of those, um, it could be a long day for you. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I'll be having more informationals um, coming up. A lot of my drills is, is one-on-one drills. I did all the routes, but if I can think of another one-on-one -on -one drill, I like those one-on-ones. You could do it by yourself. You don't have to have a receiver, but if you do have a receiver and a quarterback as well, that, that's even better. But a lot of cases, it's hard trying to Wait, waste time trying to find all these guys, get them together. I just like to, I used to just to, used to get out there by myself, set these drill ups, do them over and over again, and I'll meet up with you guys in practice. And when I see you receivers in practice, I'm taking names first and I'm getting names later. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.